Hello guys, welcome back to my channel San and Nastaki. And uh, in today's video, we will start a new series on sand switches. So basically throughout the series, we will discuss various concept of uh, sand switches. And we will also see how we can perform various tasks or admin operations on a sand switches. In today's video, we will discuss uh, very basics on uh, sand switches. First of all, let's uh, discuss few things about SAN switch. So, a SAN switch is a hardware which have uh, FC port. FC stands for fiber channel. Host and storage devices are connected to it. So, a host will be connected to one SAN switch and to the same SAN switch, a storage device will also be connected. And uh, this is how a SAN switch will establish a communication link between a host and a storage device. So, the communication will happen after we perform uh, zoning so we will discuss more about uh, zoning and how we can do the zoning in uh, coming videos so a group of sand switch is called as a fabric in many small environments there will be one switch but in many complex environment or a huge environment we will have multiple sand switches so if one sand switch is connected to another sand switch then it will call as a fabric so fabric can be created by various uh, topology so the most popular is core edge topology where one particular switch will be act as core and all other switches will be connected to the same core switches so we will see how these connections are made through a picture in coming slides so every SAN network has two fabric for redundancy so that one fabric is down or something happens one particular fabric then the other fabric will be there to take care of the SAN traffic so the various vendors are there but uh, most popular vendor for SAN switch are Brocade and Cisco so this is how a switch looks like this is the overall picture and this is a more detailed picture of a SAN switch left hand side the first port is RJ45 port so this will be a used for serial connection to a local laptop or local PC and next to that we have a management Ethernet port this particular port will be connected to the network switch and we can configure a IP address for this management port and through that IP address we can access the switch remotely and do various admin operations next to that we have a USB port and uh, after that we can see there are 24 ports so these are the FC port the ports have uh, certain limitation in uh, terms of bandwidth it can be of uh, 2 Gbps 4 Gbps and 8 Gbps we can increase the port speed or the bandwidth by doing port channeling so that also we will discuss in coming uh, videos but now we will skip that uh, topic and uh, next to these uh, fiber channel ports we have uh, power supply connectors so these are the various four basic type of uh, ports in SAN network so I have just included four basic uh, type of ports apart from these many other type of ports are also there but as this is the first video I will just discuss on this basic port so first one is the F port F port is also called as a fabric port so this port is usually configured in the SAN switch and the F port will be connected to a N port. What is the N port? N port is also called as a node port which represents a target or host port. So target is nothing but the port which are located on a storage frame and host port is nothing but the port of a HBA which will be attached to the server. N ports are connected to F port in SAN network. So if you want to connect a storage frame port to a switch then the port from the storage array should be connected to a port in SAN switch which is configured as app port the third one is e port which is also called expansion port a port which is designated as e port connects to the e port of another switch if you want to establish a connection between two switches then the ports of each switch must be configured as e port and the connection between this or the link establishment between these two ports is called as ISL that is inter switch link the fourth one is G port which is generic port so we just have to set a port as a G port and it will operate based on end device which is connected to it so if the end device is a switch then it will act as E port 
or if the end device is a storage array port or a server port then it will operate as f port so now this is a very simplified san network here you can see this is a storage system this is also a storage system and uh, these two are the network switches and this is a blade server or we can say simply that it's a host server now whatever we discussed in the previous slide here it will be easy to understand so first of all n port n port is always associated with a storage array or with servers now the n port will always be connected to a f port f port will be located in the sand switch or the fc switch then the next port was e port that is expansion port expansion port will be connected to another expansion port of a different switch and this connection will be called as isl that is inter switch link now this is a very complex sand network where we have uh, two switches switch a and switch b so in this picture we have uh, seen a single switches but uh, in various environment you multiple switches will be connected to one particular switch and entire collection of that switch will be called as fabric so which will become fabric a and fabric b suppose this is a storage system and this storage system has two connections one connection is going to switch a and another connection from the same storage system is going to the switch b or the fabric b similarly from the server and also you will see two connections one connection is going to switch b or we can say fabric b and uh, another connection is going to switch a or fabric a so this type of connection will make sure that every device will have a redundancy and if one particular fabric or one particular switch has problem then the other or the redundant fabric will take care of the traffic so that's all for this video hope you got some idea how sand switch plays a role in sand network so we will discuss more about the sand network in coming videos so for that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so that whatever new videos i upload in this particular series you will be notified immediately and if you have any question or you feel that something i have missed in this video then please leave a comment in comment section thank you and see you in next video